Up next, Ast and Philip versus Gaku and Ryuda. We continue on the left side of this bracket, with the winner of this match playing Airy Meninja in the second round. Gaku's got a sweet Bart attack planned, but don't miss this epic Super Bowler Bounce. It's hitting the model. Wait a second. Wait a second. Another invis. Wait a second. Wait a second. He takes the model if down. Are you serious? Now, let's jump into Ryuta's attack with 20 Super Barbarians. All right. We are starting it off with Ryuta with the very first attack. Good luck, my friend. Ryuta has got himself the 20 Super Barbarians and 8 healers here in the mix all right he starts off with that lava hound look at the air defense right on the outside of this base pops pretty quickly there is the town hall we have the rage the bomb tower is there there is the invis bowlers coming in so he's going with the bowler skips to hit the town hall will he oh oh another invis he does not take out the scatter shot wasn't able to get that bounce there wait now they do actually bounce there the bomb tower Die. Yeah, I'm not sure what you want to do now with this 18 bus. So at least they don't die from the bomb tower, so they can stay alive a little bit longer through that. As the queen is now going to clear this lava hound to the top side here. And the headhunter goes down with a warden walk off to the left. Has quite a bit. He go activate, please. The hound does now pop with the healers down. The double hero charge. As the Eagle Artillery did decide to lock out. I'd rather see nice trick push. And fails. We have not deployed anything else. He's being patient here as the Queen looks like she's going to charge closer to this ground expo. That Warden's taking more damage from the Eagle Artillery. But the Warden is getting healed back up. There's the jump so the Queen can continue her charge in. The funneling looks brilliant. But the thing is, this air expo is actually still up. That's going to be a problem. Probably was hoping that was going to go down from the bowlers as the queen is stepping into the scatter poison is going to get launched there's the king into the single oh oh makes the queen invisible to keep her ability intact single is going to lock onto this king a couple super barbs is he going to pop that king ability or what is he going to do with that single no 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 warden he's hanging on to it pops king ability and the Warden Eternal Tome now is used to try to keep this king alive and get as much value as possible. But the healers are sitting in the poison. They're going down. As the king did clear this bottom side, queen's taking the jump, reaching the monolith. Freezing the monolith, but losing the queen. And the queen does actually come back alive with the phoenix to try to help get a little bit more there. But now the healer will transfer off to that royal champion. And a bunch of Expos are still waiting this RC on the backside. It is an Air Expo, so it won't lock on too closely just yet. RC ability skips through. She's going down fast. Archer Tower has been removed. We got a couple Super Barbarians being used onto this cannon. Taking that down. The multi is staying up. RC dies. The Phoenix is going to be able to help try to secure the multi. As he's making his way around. But the Warden is dead. The King is dead. Oh, the bowlers, unfortunately, didn't get all the skip values. Probably hoping over there. Ryuda. Look at the effort that he's still putting up. Such a high percentage here. And remember, at the end of these matches, there is a judge voting that can influence. If it's a super close match, you never know what's going to happen as it's an 88% two-star for Ryuda. Ast is up. Let's see what he's got cooked up here with 13 rocket loons some lightning all right starting off with that flame flinger to the top side of this base gonna help try to clear towards this scatter shot we do have a mortar there so be careful you're gonna have to try to protect the flame flinger it's gonna take some time now what else there's the lightning to take out the multi the expo and damages the queen doesn't take her out Rockaloons onto the cannon. If hey, the monster is still up because of Tesla. Rockaloons, maybe. As we've got that queen off to the far right side. Yet he's onto the cannon here. There's Rock. Oh, well, it's still up. It's fine. It doesn't go down. One more hit is needed. Unless the fire spares can touch it. I don't think so. Nope. They're not damaging it. Queen's going to continue her way to the right side. Flame Flinger. Oh, oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's not gonna do anything. He drops the barbarian. The Yetis are trying to distract it. Yeti mites. Oh no! 
Unless the Barbarian... Oh, yes, the Barbarian tanked the shot of the Scatter, so he didn't have to use any more Rocket Loons. Every single one matters, as he got three Super Wall Breakers for this Queen to make her onto the right side. Let's see. There's the Wall Break, which pulls the Super Wall Break, or actually pulls the, uh, some of the CC troops out of here. He's continuing his way into the Town Hall. Queen... He's going to make her way to the town hall. With, there's a, not, another poison that's on the other side here. With that, with a few yetis off to the left. There's the rage up queen. Now pulls the rest of this clan castle out. With more headhunters. The lava hound. Uh-oh. Oh, this hound now. As an electro Queen, what is she doing? Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Oh, she's on the wall forever. Queen, oh no! She, no, she doesn't even get the town hall! No, wait, are you serious? Did he send the RC in already? She never, the Lava Hound literally completely messed up this queen! Are you serious? Nice. <laughs> a queen! Uh, not, oh, she still has eight Rockaloons to try to send it. Luckily, the tunnel is not getting repaired here. The Rockaloons need to save the day to try to take that. Yeah, I think it was. I think it's three if I don't pick up with the queen. Send Rockaloons from over here. You gotta go. You gotta move them. What are you doing? He's waiting for the poison spell maybe to get pulled or something. Oh no, Ash, you only have 15 seconds. He's sending them all in. They're going. Go, Rockaloons, go. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Oh, dear, what? <laughs> wow, barely able to secure the two star. Whew. But that queen just would not help out Ash there. Wow. Gaku is now up. Good luck to you, Gaku. With the 40 barbs, 40 archers, and he's got a little bit of a queen charge here. With that flame flinger to the top side. As the queen's gonna make her way towards the scatter shot, we do have the invisibility spell next to that town hall. As a baby dragon is going to secure. Hmm. King for town hall. That's, I guess. To really push through here. I'm gonna keep your eye. Look at that. That rage up for the queen. Oh, that's a lot of damage on the queen, but he's able to keep her alive. As the flame flinger still goes. Oh, the balloon. Yeah, you can see it. The baby dragon didn't really matter there because the baby dragon was going to die off anyway. So that was a brilliant Coco Loon. As we got... Wait, what? We got an RC into the town hall. Freezes up the enemy RC. He wall breaks into the core. The RC is behind the golem now. Remember that... So if it dies next to the town hall, it will activate it. But the RC is going to clear the ground expo. The queen is getting hit by quite a bit of defenses. The town hall becomes invisible. The queen's ability goes off. King and the warden going down to the bottom side. He, what is the plan for the town hall? The uh, barbarians? Wait, what? The queen's still going. The RC dies off. We've got that warden. Yeah, but he invested king and one golem and the RC there. I don't know what he got now, but I think this is not planned. The core of this base, warden ability. Oh, he pops in now to protect that king. No more queen ability. There's ice golems. Balloons into the town hall. One ice golem. Rage the balloons. He's raging the balloons to secure a town hall. Oh, town hall. Come on. Oh. No. Earthquake it. You can earthquake it. It'll go down with an earthquake. There it is. Yes. The town hall goes down with the earthquake. And here comes the barge. The super minions coming out of that flame flinger. He's still got a several more archers. But that queen going down, not securing that monolith here. With that king, unfortunately, definitely hurt. But he, those balloons in a rage didn't get that town hall. <laughs> Philip is up next. He's looking to get that three star. With some barbarians and archers, quite a bit here. And he's starting off with that queen into the defensive king to help clear this. With those healers down, clearing the king. And he pulls out the Electro Titan Ice Golem out of the defensive 
playing castle. Handful of balloons. He's got that recall. So typically we tend to see that recall being used to help pull that queen back. But the damage on the queen. He has to invest. Whew. I was going to say, Philip, you gotta, you have to invest that rage spell to be able to secure this area. As some balloons go to the cannon, Queen's going to... I said, Bob Hatch, are you a Tashki Stinja? I'm not sure if you're a Bob Hatch. It's like H1 through. She can reach the Archer Tower from inside. Put another wizard there. Uh, Queen, you got to go back. Queen, Queen, go to the Town Hall, Queen. Where are you going? Don't go to the Archer Tower. Archer Tower stays. Does she go back? Oh, wait a... No, she goes to the Archer Tower. Oh, she does come back. He rages. No need for that invis. Oh, that was huge. To keep... You can let her take a little bit more after the town hall. She's full health and rage. Oh, that was close. He, imagine if he missed that queen. That would have been attack over in a heartbeat. But now he recalls. Sends that queen with the warden to the far right side. Behind a golem and king as well. He's got a log. Oh, yes. There's the log launcher to cut across this space into the eagle with some barbarians. Archers around the edges to move his way through as the king has is starting to push his way down to the bottom side down here. As he can pop the warden ability to protect. There is a rage. Warden. No, not yet. Warden. No, he's being patient. Very patient. He doesn't need to. There it is. He burns the warden. Out comes the yetis. The healers have transferred to the yetis now. As he's trying to clear eventually towards the scatter. But he can have this queen re reach the monolith. But there is an invis. Which is going to make the monolith invisible. Queen stops hitting the CC. Oh, queen's ability. <gasps> that was just in time. Just in time. Now she's going to go for the monolith. This RC is still moving her way down to the bottom side. The queen, she has bailed. Nope, she comes back. Healers need to go keep this queen up. He's got the spells. There's the freeze. Oh, perfectly timed. As the RC is running, the queen, doing what she does best, go for those walls and makes her invisible. He needs to protect and use that ability. King's gonna clear the storm. Looks super good. Nice attack. Thanks. The RC ability going off is gonna get the three star here in this match. G G getting it done. That is huge for their team. Ryuda is up next. Good luck. And he's looking to three star with the lightning and the Valkyries. 11 of them. Five healers. Got a clean RC. It's a symmetrical base here with the town all, all the way to the edge. Kind of the box style. As the balloons are clearing out these early buildings. As the blimp's going to... I don't know what they zap with five only. And it's going to secure this town hall. No worries of invisibilities or poisons. Just an easy town hall, town hall lure. Okay, this uh, CC is really annoying because you have to use the poison early. Used on a multi-target inferno. As more skeletons are popping, coming over to the poison, they will die in the poison. Maybe I don't know. Nope, they don't. As he does actually take out the multi there in the core and the defensive rage, so that's really beneficial, especially for a queen charge. So she's not going to get hit by raged up defenses. Baby Dragon clearing the Archer Tower over there. As this Queen's looking to charge through, but the Eagle Artillery is on his Queen. You have to be very careful. A couple wall breaks that he has. There's the... Yeah, how's it still? Oh, boy's Sneaky Goblin onto the storage. Does not want the Queen to walk down. Wants her to continue her way to the cannon. There's another balloon. There's the king to the bottom side. Here, the Valks are going to come down to the bottom with an eye. Oh, that queen ability was just perfectly timed. If he waited one more second. No, oh, but the king was jumping. Let's see. As the Valks, the king, the warden are all coming down to the bottom side. He still has another wall break. He's being patient here. Where is he going to utilize this jump spell? The Valks are... No, he's got three more. There's the jump. King's got the burn ability. Warden, eternal tome. Warden. Oh, yeah. Oh, rip. King is dead. King. Oh, he lost his king. That's huge. That's going to hurt as the queen is stuck on a... No. Queen is dead. As the RC finds the turn... Everything is dead. Back to life. 
which means she's gonna die off here. And the Valks have vanished. They got stuck and they just did not move their way into the core. Those Valkyries. Oh my, he still has a few left there, but... <laughs> that Eagle Artillery removing that King did work. Taking so much damage as Gaku will have the final attack for his team and he's gonna have to triple many, many brackets. Viewers selected this team of Gaku and Ryuda to win it all in this Creative Master Series. Can they do it? Can they make a comeback here? They are down. As we still have asked to come in with an attack as... No, I think... I think so. Or Philip. Philip triple. So asked and then Gaku. But nice try to Ryuda. Because right now it's six to five. But Strut hasn't attacked yet. Average destruction is really close. 85 to an 86. So we'll just see what uh, Ash can do next. Ash is up. Good luck. He's looking to get a three star. Can he do it? This would be huge if he's able to execute it. As we've got a Warden Walk to start with some hogs. We've got the Skelly Donut to help remove the Clan Castle, the Eagle, the Multi, and the Ground Expo, grabbing four defenses all at once. I saw this game with Hikos today, but. Definitely takes that down. Oh, it will just take forever to get the scatter. Spells in the mix here for his hog riders. Taking out that value. As he's going to continue to clear the Tassa farm, eventually make his way into the, into the scatter shot. That poison lizard of the warden did go down. As now the queen is going to pull this warden to the left side. Baby dragon over there as well. Giants are trying to help. Oh, I forgot no. the whole mm. <laughs> Rip. Log launcher is down. King as well. King's going to tank perfectly the damage from the log launcher. The giants are taking the single tower inferno damage long enough so the queen can help secure that. But does the wall breaks? Uh oh. Okay, the queen should come back. The log launcher kind of got stuck there on the wall a little bit, but he's opening up the core. Still has warden ability. As it's. King's ability does go off. The town hall becomes invisible. And the defensive rage spell goes off. Ice golems and some yetis as he's continuing this path through. There is the warden ability to protect. He sends the golem to the top side into the RC with his royal champions. He's continuing his way into this town hall. Queen with her ability can help secure that. He's got tons of spells here to use. Freezing the town hall and the invis tower that was about to come back and a hog. GG. OP. Right on side as he's cutting across, moving his way through. Queen is going to get stuck onto this defensive king. Looks like she's going to force ability. But those hogs, no heal. He's sprinkle them around as the RC is continuing. It's looking good. It's looking good here for Ash with the Skelly Donut Warden Walk. Nice. That worked better than expected. Brilliant. With an RC ability. Very nice job to come through with 30 seconds and swagging that invisibility. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gaku has got to triple here to keep them in it. He's got 36 sneaky goblins. That's a lot of sneakies. With seven bats. Wow. Okay. Um, you want to take any more sneakies, Gaku? Hello? Let's see. As this warden is going to try to push his way into the multi. And he's going early stone slammer to the left side by the multi target inferno. It opens up. No blimp there, and he's gonna try to go to that queen. No rage. Oh, he doesn't rage it. I thought he would rage for the queen. Oh, the queen does not die, and the air defense doesn't even die either. That's gonna be a problem. The queen is low health here. Oh my. Should he have enough to get to the town hall? I think so. As he's gonna have to start clearing these buildings down here if he wants to remove the town hall with the sneakies. 
Dropping barbarians and archers around. That multi-target inferno is going to go down to the, from his warden. Wait a sec. He's going early bats. Never mind. He's going early bats. But the warden needs to be pulled to the queen. The bats are down. The bats are moving to try to clear the bottom side since there's no splash down there. Come on. Nice bat wave. Okay. That looks strong. As he's moving with the king to the top. Look at the bats clear it all. They're moving. They're still going. They're going to activate the invis potentially. No, they still... Okay, they don't activate it, but they did clear... They didn't clear all of the value down there as the ward ability is used. We still got 34 sneakies. The defensive headhunter is quite annoying. There is the sneakies coming around to clear these buildings. The queen needs to clear the scatter. Luckily, the queen is not locked out of the hound, so she can clear... I thought that it was a little bit but it's not enough. It's still not enough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the biggest threats are now the mile of town hall, but the town hall should go down to the sneakies. There's a haste to send these sneakies into the town hall even faster. But guys, the problem is the invis is going to go off. RC makes the R. Oh, he double wall breaks into the core. Wall break. Come on, open for the queen. Oh, that's a nice wall break. Sneak. Oh, the invis goes off. Uh oh, but the queen, unfortunately, needs to rage up this queen. He pops her ability. The sneakies are all going for the town hall now. Hopefully, there's no small bombs or giant bombs. There are, and Town is going to go down. Rages the queen up to secure the monolith. But, oh, the bass didn't clear all the value he was hoping for. These ground expos are going to do work onto his queen. <laughs> With a bunch of bats to start it off. And a lot of stuff still on the bottom side down here. Very nice try. A lot of the bats starting to get picked off, but that is going to be another two-star here in the 80s. Philip is up next to close this one off, looking to try to close it out with a three-star, because if he gets the triple and get a three-star lead, the judge voting can't even influence it at all, because that would be way too much to make a comeback from, as we have the bats clearing each corner of this base. Air defense is being distracted. Clearing the air defenses just like that as we got a dragon rider to try to move into this multi Okay, I didn't get the expo. That's great Pulling out quite a bit of seeking air mines here more seeking. Oh my goodness. Look at the seeking air mines Now it's going to be rough He's got Raged up super bowler. He's gonna try to get the monolith here. I just all oh, the wait. No, don't tell me it hits Oh, it does it does! It's hitting the model! It's hitting the model! Wait a second! Wait a second! Another invasion! Wait a second! 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 Wait a Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Wait a second! Look at that super bowler getting the double bounce, hitting the monolith behind the town hall. Whew. As we've got that queen to move her way to the left side, followed with the king to move his way as well. Yeah, Electro Titan did work as it killed off the baby dragon. Now going to be annoying for this queen as he's going to continue his way through. The king's making his way to the left. He's got two more dragon riders to utilize. That Electro Titan, the Queen has decided to go on her own, not going to the Scatter Shot, unfortunately. Hmm. But if you Warden, the E Titan gets the script compartment. No matter what, as the Warden pops the ability, protects the Electro Titan and the Queen, another wall break comes in. As the Queen is going to decide to run up and not follow behind to that Scatter Shot there. As he's continuing his way through, King's ability did go off, does have a Queen. Unfortunately, the Seagull Artillery and tons of stuff are still awaiting him there. I love that Super Bowler. Getting that double bounce. Pops that Queen ability. Going into the Bomb Tower. Oh, man. He definitely obviously wanted to use that Royal Champion. Oh, that's not good. Oh, good try. Happens. Very nice try to Philip there. Very nice try, my friend. Just says a little bit more, but... Ash and Philip looking good here as we do still have the judge voting. We'll take a look at that, but 
really and i loved it i love the blimp the super bowlers very very nice there as it is only the 67 percent two star but the score as you see on the screen is currently eight to ten with ash and philip having 10 and the percentage is an 84 wait a it's an exact tie at percentage what so ladies and gentlemen let's go to the judge voting and the judge voting is in. Ashton Phillip will be receiving 1.67 bonus stars, and Gaku and Ryuta will be receiving two bonus stars. This means the final score is 11.67 to 10.0. Congratulations to Ashton Phillip advancing to round two. Next time on the Creative Master Series, Wolf Shears and Temper versus Style and Roshio. Watch out as Roshia's Warden flies in front of her super minion army. Uh-oh, that Warden is like leading in front of these super minions. But watch out as Wolf Shears loses his super wizards to a giant bomb. Oh, oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh, the giant bomb! Are you serious? To the super wizards. Oh, no.